Hey everyone, so I'm just going to be doing a tier list for the recent balance changes. Now, I'm not going to be doing all the cards in the game. I'm just going to be doing the ones that were recently, uh, the, the cards that were recently balanced. And uh, so this is on tiermaker.com. Uh, I don't know if I have to say that in order to, you know, not get like, uh, I don't know, some sort of like lawsuit placed on me. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna, I have to face litigation. But without further ado, let's just get into the balance changes. I have them open right here. The first one up is Archer Queen. Uh, you can read that if you want. Just pause the video. You can read um, what happened to the Archer Queen. Most likely you already know though. reason I'm doing this so late, by the way, guys, this it's been like a week, I think, about uh, since the balances came out. It's just because we have hindsight now, so we can actually properly judge this. I know a lot of content creators. I'm putting this at C, by the way. Um, C tier. Uh, the reason I'm doing this later is because most content creators just kind of give their initial reaction and they don't really talk about um, the cards later on um, after like a week. So with the Archer Queen, it's like it's like you know when like uh, uh, someone walks up to you and they're like, "Hey, what's different about me?" And you're like, "Uh, I don't know. Did you get a new haircut?" And you're like trying to guess and you can't really tell. That's how I feel about Archer Queen. It's like, can you even tell that there's a difference? You know, <laughs> I, I I certainly can't. Right. The only thing I see is like, okay, maybe people aren't activating the, her ability before she crosses the bridge, um, which was a super obnoxious play. But yeah, I'm seeing less of that because she'll just kind of hang there and and not even get like remotely closer to the tower. So I appreciate that. I guess um, those less obnoxious plays. I liked the headspace that the balance team was out and balancing her um they just didn't do it enough but i respect the attempt um next card was the golden knight and golden knight i'm gonna put b tier because uh i i'm, I'm hoping that at least when they nerfed him they were like okay I, maybe we can try to figure out what's actually wrong with him so we're just going to kind of nerf him to the ground before we actually uh work on him now he's not actually nerfed to the ground but i think they wanted to really substantially nerf him and they did exactly just that i really don't see golden knight around that much and when i do it's like you're, you're kind of just wondering to yourself like why didn't you just run like something like uh you know bandit or royal ghost right like uh again the only deck i feel like he's actually like specifically designed for is like certain minor wall breaker decks which Admittedly, I'm happy about that. Uh, and, and those are really the only decks I'm seeing him in right now. Uh, so, uh, I, and, and I, th I think he's happy. I'm happy with that because he's actually kind of nice in those decks. But that's really about it. Um, so I'm, I'm putting him in B just because at least Supercell kind of understands like, hey, we got to kind of change him significantly. So before we do that, let's just not make him uh, very obnoxious to face right now. Um, I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's it's like it, it seems like he's just so unpredictable when like when what his ability will do. I I think I think I like that unpredictability. I think they just need to make it so that the ability doesn't have to be predicted, right? Um, that th that's really it. Like it can be unpredictable. That's fine, right? But they need to make it so that like even if you don't predict it, it's not so punishing, right? Like sometimes they'll just like pocket plant a knight a golden knight and like instead of going skeletons which will probably like more or less just stop the guy um instead you go for like a knight or something and like sometimes they do that on purpose to bait out your knight and and then they're like haha you wasted your knight thinking i would use the ability and then they just don't use the ability instead they like waste something that you needed your knight for um like maybe like like a mega knight at the bridge i know that seems ridiculous but it's happened to me because uh i'm i'm i i i'm more or less in mid ladder uh more or less like i would say i'm on the upper echelon of mid ladder uh, so th those are just the kind of players I face. Anyway, I'm rambling here. Let's just keep moving. Uh, with the giant, the giant went on like some sort of specialty giant or something. I don't know what happened. Uh, he's got a fatter gut and he's got more HP. Awesome. Uh, I'm putting this at C tier. Uh, I I thought giant was fine, not even as a win condition, just as a as, as a tank, kind of like a semi win condition. And they tried to make him his own win condition with his HP buff, um, which I'm fine with. Again, I just don't think it was necessary, which is why I'm putting at C tier. I'm fine with the change. That he could he could have been buffed yeah okay i'm cool um i just don't think it was necessary i think there are plenty of other cards like um i don't know goblin giant for instance that needed uh balancing a lot more severely it needs to uh like giant already had its place uh, in like giant graveyard and giant sparky so i just didn't really see the need for this but whatever i'm cool with it it's all good let's talk about mini pekka and mini pekka 
man, this is, uh, to see Mini P.E.K.K.A. kind of back, and I do see Mini P.E.K.K.A. a lot more, actually. I'm still putting it in DG here. Uh, yeah, it's kind of weird, but it's kind of like how you, you know, like, you see your, you meet up with your friend from, like, middle school, and you're like, whoa, wow, well, how's it been going? Like, you, you were still around? I didn't even know you were around here. I, I wasn't even aware. Uh, cool to see you again. That's how I feel about Mini P.E.K.K.A. right now, and Mini P.E.K.K.A. just kind of showed up out of nowhere, and he's like, hey, yeah, uh, I'm here to, like, tackle all those over-level Mega Knights for you, buddy. Um, and yeah, very thankful for that. So I am seeing mini pack around. That being said, is he super strong? No, because the meta is very fireball baity. I'm not going to weigh in on whether I think that's good or not, but that's just the way it is. Um, uh, and so I don't want to get too controversial, right? And so mini Pekka, wow, my computer is overheating like crazy. Uh, actually it's a laptop, but whatever. Uh, mini Pekka, I hope the fans aren't like, I hope the fans aren't that audible, but whatever. Uh, so Mini Pekka is kind of just like, uh, he's he's not a card that's designed to work in this meta with a bunch of fireball bait and like a swarm. You know, mortar bait is around and everything. He's he's better in like tank, uh, tanky kind of metas. Like against E Giant, he was really nice. Um, I thought he was a perfectly balanced card. I just did, what instead of like kind of like. You know how to say like I don't because I want to say that I want I don't want to be controversial, but instead of like targeting the cards that were strong um they kind of tried to buff a card so that he kind of has a different purpose like mini pekka kind of has a different purpose now um and and he's better against like swarms and that doesn't completely feel right to me um it, like he's better against swarms on defense like he can defend a goblin gang relatively well or like spear goblins relatively well uh now uh, i think it's reasonable to actually try to uh, defend spirit albums with a mini P.E.K.K.A. Um, uh, when, when, when they're not being targeted by the river, of course, uh, by the tower, of course, right? Like, maybe they're, they're like, on the river. Uh, either way, I, 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 I wasn't so sure about this mini P.E.K.K.A., but, I, again, they're just trying to make him good in a meta where he shouldn't be meta. Um, and if you want mini P.E.K.K.A. to be strong, then just change the meta, in my opinion. Uh, mini P.E.K.K.A. is not a card I, that I think should be viable in every single meta, and I think that's what they tried to do with him, so... Uh, I'm done rambling there. Uh, Inferno Tower. Um, so what happened to not trying to... I'm, I'm straight up putting this in E tier. The only reason it's not in F is because it's not like super strong or anything because of it. But it's definitely stronger. You definitely notice it. Inferno Tower was already really nice. Again, in certain metas where like you got over-leveled Mega Knight, over-leveled E-Giant players in mid-ladder, Inferno was fine. Like Inferno was doing dandy. But then they just decided like, hey, we got a really like fireball baity swarmy meta and inferno tower of course is not going to do well against that especially after the night witch nerf and golem is like almost nowhere to be seen um of course inferno tower is not going to be doing that well so uh at least a top ladder so they were like hey you know what let's let's take out uh let's take out the the specialty that inferno ha uh, had against tanks and just buff it for no reason just so that you know it can it can survive in this current meta and to me, that just doesn't make any sense. I feel like, you know, if, if you have a problem with Inferno Tower being weak, you need to target the meta. I'm not I'm not saying whether or not the meta right now is good or not. I'm just saying if, if, if the balance team felt like Inferno wasn't good, it's because the meta is not suited for Inferno or for Mini P.E.K.K.A. So don't balance these cards, especially at least Mini P.E.K.K.A. is like somewhat aggressive, but Inferno is just completely defensive. And I also agree that like completely defensive gameplay does make the game stale and this just doesn't align with their priorities in my opinion um but don't don't buff these cards trying to fix the meta because it, the meta is what kind of made these cards you're, you're potentially making these cards broken now is 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 the problem by buffing these cards and now of course they're not going to be broken but but you're making them like just way too versatile in in a, and like when the meta kind of is is more suited toward and uh, towards these cards they're going to be tailored to uh just absolutely destroy it like i can totally see like if if giant double prince became the most meta deck instead of like royal hogs maybe royal hogs or gets nerfed and then people everyone starts running ram rider or something um, then, yeah, I can totally see Mini Pack and Inferno Tower just being absolutely broken. That's my fear, is if, if they did get nerfed, uh, then that's what's gonna happen. Let's go to Musketeer. Musketeer is, contrary to Inferno Tower or Mini Pack, I, I actually think Musketeer is a card that should be meta all the time, and that's why I'm putting this at B tier. Do I put this at B tier or A tier? Ooh, I'm gonna put it at B tier. I don't wanna, I don't wanna put A tier. Um, I, I like that she's a free-to-play alternative to Archer Queen, and she should be viable in every single meta. Uh, Musketeer, that is. 
so I am I am I'm happy with what they tried to do with her. They tried to make her better against swarms because again, it's it's a very swarmy kind of a uh, baity kind of meta, and I'm I'm okay with that. I think Musketeer should be a very versatile card, and I'm cool with it. Uh, and oh, by the way, because this also buffs three Musketeers, which uh, we are kind of seeing a return of, and they don't feel too strong, but they also feel perfectly viable. Um, I am totally seeing people use three musketeers. It, it feels it feels the way it should be. Like three musketeers destroys in the correct metas, uh, and not in the correct metas, in the correct matchups. And in bad matchups, it loses. And I feel like that's that's what you're supposed to kind of feel with three musketeers. There's some good matchups and there's some bad matchups. It's not like every single matchup feels bad. There's some good matchups that uh, there's some okay matchups that that in the past that now actually kind of feel good um like I, I will say like ram rider used to kind of not be that great of a matchup for three musketeers i would actually argue it's 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 a pretty decent matchup now not 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 pretty deep it's like a 50 50 matchup like mega knight ram rider you know i i think i think you can actually play mega knight ram rider against three musketeers and it's it's kind of fair now just because you can place those three musketeers defensively and get a decent amount of utility out of them uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put three musketeers at A plus. The reason I'm not putting it in S or S plus is because S is like it's something I could have never imagined, right? And S plus is like, uh, you know, something unprecedented. Something like you know when they deleted the heal spirit, uh, the the heal spell and replaced it with the heal spirit, that was S plus. And S is something I would have never imagined. But A plus is like it's pretty solid. I think it's it's just the right it's just the right thing. So I'm really glad with what they did to three musketeers. Hunter. Hunter, I also really liked here. Uh, I'm going to put Hunter in... Oh, I might also put Hunter in A+. Plus. Um, I thought I thought it was just perfect. Um, I see... It's, it's, it's in a way that's like... Hunter is also being used like super creatively. It's not just like a one card counters everything, like a one card defense anymore. Um, I actually see people using it like really creatively in like Ram Rider decks where they'll like put the ra uh, the Hunter in front of the Ram Rider and then the Ram Rider will like push the Hunter all the way to the tower and stuff. Not all the way to the tower, but pretty close to the tower. Uh, basically because the Hunter will lock on and like kind of just stand his ground so the, hunt so the Ram Rider doesn't really push him anymore. I really like that, um, and, and I see people using Hunter a lot more creatively. I, I see him like it's not just RG Fisherman Hunter anymore. Um, it's it, it's like Hunter's being used in like you know certain mortar decks. I've seen him in in those uh, in some bridge band decks again. Like I said, at Ram Rider and stuff. So I like where Hunter is. I like the buff. I don't think I have any complaints uh, about it. I think everyone is kind of happy about that. Um, Hunter is, is a really fun card. I never had a problem. Even when he was, like, super broken, super meta, I never really had a problem. Royal Hogs. Um, I'm glad they nerfed him, but it wasn't enough. Um, and I don't know if you can tell my bias already. I really don't like that Royal Hogs are super strong. They just never needed to be buffed, um, back when Drill was meta. Again, I think everyone kind of explained why. It's it's because Drill was meta that Royal Hogs weren't good. Um, but now when Dark Prince, Valkyrie, Mega Knight is everywhere, and the fact that people are still running that you know Royal Hogs, Earthquake, Archer Queen cycle deck, despite those hard counter not hard counters, but those, all those counters being meta, the fact that they're still strong and viable really speaks volumes as to how strong the cards are. I still think they're, they're an S-tier card. Um along with the Archer Queen, and they desperately need a nerf, but at least they did get nerfed, and I appreciate, I respect the attempt. Uh, the Ram Rider bug, I think the Ram Rider bug automatically goes into S tier, um, because, you, you know, consistency in games is important, um, and uh, it's, or, or I should say coherency in games is important, because um, you, you should kind of, if, if there's something that's going to be inconsistent, like the spawn of, like, witches and stuff, um, you have to explain that. You have to explain uh, why that is so. And if, it, if 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 there is no explanation, if there's if it's not like for balancing reasons or something, you know, no, then this is fine, right? I, I don't think I don't think anyone's gonna complain. I actually thought it was a psychological thing. Like I thought someone spiked my water bottle or something uh, when I saw when I, I was like, come on! I thought like Night Witch would spawn bats faster, but then I'm like, maybe it's just because you know I'm scared of the Ram Rider connecting, so I I imagine that the the Night Witch should be you know spawning bats faster. But then no, it's it's actually the way it was. And, uh, so Balloon. Balloon got a nerf. I think it needed a rework. I, I'm not, I'm not super happy with this. I think they, they essentially resorted to killing the card. Did it need a nerf? No, but it, I think it needed a rework. Where is Balloon? I cannot find it for the life of me. Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, Balloon. I don't know, dude. I, I, 
I didn't like that it got nerfed um, for no reason. It needed a rework for sure, but it, it, it's they, they instead they kind of nerfed it. I think they were trying to rework it. It was it was kind of a fail. I'm gonna put it at D tier. I think balloon kind of sucks now. If I'm being really honest, it's just it's not threatening at all. Uh, yeah, I'm putting it at D tier. I think it's I think it just sucks. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, th they at least tried with it. Um, I respect that, but it, they they kind of just failed. Um, you know, because because they tried, I should put it at C tier. I shouldn't be so mean. I'm gonna put it C tier. Uh, Prince, ooh, Prince. Um, so the hop ability did nothing for the Prince. I feel like they just don't understand the utility. Prince, like I, I get what they were trying to do. Like if someone like tries to kite something with an ice golem, okay, Prince will like maybe jump over the river and start attacking the ice golem. But who even uses ice golem? At least because it's not super broken. Again, I'm just gonna put this at E tier. But like, what were they even trying to do with this? The ability basically added nothing to the Prince, right? It didn't make it any more useful. It's kind of like you, you know, it's kind of like uh, how to say it? it's like it's like when you give uh, a five-year-old right sneakers that light up it's like yeah okay they light up like big deal like big whoop like uh, why are you celebrating you know you, you, didn't, you didn't really do anything that's how i feel um with the prince right now it's like yeah he can jump over the river but th those are like sneakers that light up like who cares i've 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 yet to see that use uh correctly with the prince at least um, and even if they, like, try to go instead with, like, a giant to kite, it's, like, why would you go Prince across the river when it could get easily, like, distracted with, like, a, a skeleton army or something like that, and, and now you're dead, right, uh, instead of just waiting for the, like, that giant that they're using to kite the card, um, to cross the river, and then you can place the Prince on your side of the arena, it just doesn't make any sense to me, I don't like what they did with the Prince, it was completely useless, but at least it's not broken, like, the Dark Prince, this is broken, dude. Dark Prince is already very strong in the meta. There was just no need for this slight, barely useful buff. Um, the thing that made Royal Ghost so nice in a Bridge Spam deck was because you could, like, predict the skeletons that someone was going to use to, like, protect their building. Like, you know, say there's an Expo player who's, like, trying to protect their Tesla with skeletons. You could always predict that with the Royal Ghost at the river. Now they're trying to add that ability to the Dark Prince, and you're just sat there wondering, like, well, why would anyone even use Royal Ghost in the first place? It makes no sense. Um, and I don't like where what where, what they were trying to do. They they were basically like, hey, let's add some consistency. See, this is this is like there, there's a difference between like consistency with uh, the Ram Rider snare because at least that's like coherent, right? But here, this 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 isn't for balancing reasons. There's no reason to do this balancing for the princes except for oh, it's ponies. They should jump over the bridge. And that just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I don't like it. Um, and, and it, it doesn't even add anything to the card, really, to me. Um, Dark Prince, for one more elixir than Royal Ghost, was supposed to kind of be a little more defensive because it had that attack speed. Um, but then you could also counter push with it. Whereas Royal Ghost was supposed to be like three elixir. So you, you can kind of use it more at the bridge and be more aggressive with it. Um, that was kind of the utility. Now you're also adding like this very offensive capability with Dark Prince to be able to like snipe. Not really like literally snipe, right? But but kind of like, you know, jump across the river and like sit on the skeletons and stuff. It's like, wh why are you trying to make the Dark Prince more broken um, than he... He's not he's not broken right now, but he's just strong in the meta. That's what I mean to say. I, I don't mean broken, but like he's not broken. That's an exaggeration, but he's very good in the meta already. He does not need this slight, if not completely superficial and and uh, uh, I don't know what this is, what the word is like. Uh, it, it, it's it's like a placebo kind of buff, if if you get what I'm saying. But anyway, that that's those are all the cards uh, that were balanced, and here's my list. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the balances. Um, if, if, if you guys disagree with me, uh, let me know. If you guys think I'm biased in any way, let me know. I would. Uh, I, I do acknowledge that I'm probably biased. I don't think Royal Hogs um, should be as strong as they are um, because I just don't think that's healthy for the game, that you can just spam Royal Hogs. I don't mind that they get guaranteed damage. I'm fine with them getting guaranteed damage. I just don't think it should be as much damage as they get, but maybe I'm just biased, so let me know in the comments. Uh, and yeah, that's all I have to say right now, so see you another time.